architecture in Mozambique is strongly imbued with the centuries-old Portuguese colonial presence. From National Museum of Natural History's Neo-Manuelin style, to Maputo's neoclassical city hall, or other richly decorated colonial houses, traditional Mozambican architecture, time-worn and competing with modern buildings, is no less remarkable in the Southwest Indian Ocean. In the Comoros, apart from the traditional homes made of plants, world buildings are particularly visible for elite housing or religious buildings and they bear witness to a Swahili influence. A public space, Bangwe in Grand Comore and Pangahari in Anjouan, is decisive in the socialization of Comorians. There are few iconographic traces of the traditional Mahoran habitat. However, some photographs offer a glimpse of the constructions in earth, wood and vegetable fiber. Colonial architecture left its mark on the evolution of both domestic housing and administrative buildings. The seashells have historically a creole habitat which brings them closer to the islands of Reunion and Mauritius. Population flows, particularly from Reunion Island to the Seychelles, have introduced construction techniques into the archipelago that reinforce this Creole architectural identity, which is common to most islands of the Southwest Indian Ocean. It is undoubtedly diversity that characterizes the architecture in Madagascar. Bornean and European influences have structured the habitat, whether it be domestic, funerary, or municipal houses, and give a unique character to the Red Island's architecture. Some elements bear witness to this richness, like houses on stilts, graves showing a real funerary art, or the original woodworking culture of the Zafimanir community which is inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List. Architecture in Mauritius has integrated several successive contributions, from the French, British, Indian and Indo-Muslim. This heterogeneity of styles is a tangible expression of Mauritian multiculturalism. The built environment is now profoundly disrupted by modern constructions. Reunion Island is very attached to its Creole huts, whether modest or very elegant, often in a symmetrical arrangement. The veranda, or varong, is one of its characteristic elements representing a Creole art of living. This habitat is now isolated and threatened in an urban network of ultra-modern constructions. Mm -hmm. 